In this video, I'll take you along on our day out we spent riding steam trains. This is a trip I've been meaning to try for years. Instead of the GWR Great Western Railway that we take from London to Cheltenham and other destinations in our travel, this is the Gloucestershire Warwickshire Steam Railway. Today's trip on this heritage railway originates in Cheltenham, our hometown, and ends in Broadway, one of our favorite Cotswold villages. We will be making a round trip journey and spending time in Broadway, so it will be a day long adventure. We start the journey here at the Cheltenham Racecourse, a place that I've not been to before in my five years of owning our flat in Cheltenham. We came through the racecourse area to this special car park. As we headed to the station, Alan the friendly porter gave us some suggestions for our journey. You've got a rover ticket for the five of you, so uh, you should be able to get on and off the train uh, wherever you like. Um, travel back and forth as many times as you want. Okay, what what is the nicest station, the coolest, prettiest station? Uh, the station with the most uh, things to look at is probably Toddington. Toddington, okay. Uh, Winchcombe's quite a pleasant little station. Broadway station is very nice. It's built in 2018, but to the original design from 1910. Mm -hmm. Also have a look in Broadway Museum, because on the top floor, great GWSR have a, an exhibition. I had no idea. Thank you so much for All about us. the history of the line and how we preserved it as well. It's a temporary uh, exhibition, so it's only on this year. Oh, well then we better go today <laughs> for sure. All right. Thanks okay, so much. Thanks. Have a great day. The little path we walked down to the station and the path is covered with some very pretty magenta flowers along the way. We are making this trip today with Ian's father and stepmother who are visiting from the States and Ian's aunt who lives about an hour away from us here in England. I don't actually fancy an ice cream at the moment. Not only because it's not even 10 a.m., but also because it's quite fresh this morning, as they would say here in Britain, or as I would say, it's kind of cold. <laughs> it's really cold and windy. Oh, and look, what was behind me? Some magenta roses. Okay, now stop looking at flowers and get on this train. Here's Ian, my significant otter, who has saved me a seat. Now it's time to leave the Cheltenham Racecourse Station and take a steamy start to journey into the Cotswolds. Leaving Cheltenham, our first stop will be in Gotherington, followed by Winchcombe, a pass through the Hales Abbey Halt, then Toddington, and finally Broadway. On the way to Gotherington, we saw a circus, a field full of archery targets, and some cows, and sheep, and horses. Inside the train, we saw the staff member check out tickets, and we saw Noodle, a doggy who was very excited about his train trip. The original Gotherington station is now a privately owned home, but the signal boxes, Waiting room and platforms are all beautifully restored. Next stop, Winchcombe. At the Winchcombe station, there are some fun things to see. Let's check out what's in the discovery coach while we're stopped here in Winchcombe for a moment. Oh, this shows the line. How we start in Cheltenham Racecourse, and we go through Gotherington. Ooh, I need to see that church on the way back. And then here we are in Winchcombe now. Oh, then there's Hales Abbey. Make sure you see my video from Hales Abbey. That's a wonderful place. Then Toddington, which is the place we're supposed to see. And then Stanway Viaduct. I'm excited to go across that. Oh, and then of course we love Stanway House. And then this long way 
finally get to Broadway Station. Model railways in the Royal Mail van. Oh, too bad Boppy's not here to see this. He might have to come for a visit. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is just a fabulous model railway. Oh, Ian's gonna have to see this on the way back. They've got all these wonderful little, oh, happy place. A little chippy stand, that's fantastic. And a little double-decker red bus. I love the details that they have here. The little vintage cars. That is a very mini, mini. Oh, little red phone box. Oh, some lovely, Cotswold vintage cars. I bet you're the star of many a video. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> star of the show. Oh, so is this, so once this train arrives, then we're allowed to leave, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you get off the train in Winchcombe, there are some wonderful things to explore in the area as well, including the lovely ancient Saxon market town and nearby Sudley Castle. For more about the castle's fascinating history, check out my Sudley video, which I'll link in the description. We passed through the Hales Abbey Halt so quickly I didn't really get any footage, but I did capture a few glimpses of things nearby as well as I could. Now we are arriving at Toddington Station. Let's see what there is of interest here. This little building was packed with steam railway memorabilia and other vintage collectibles to view. It's fun how many people wave at the train passengers as we travel along the track. Now let's explore what's inside the train. Here's a look at some other parts of the train. Another passenger car, and another. But note that while most of the train is dog friendly, dogs aren't allowed in the first class coaches. As you can see, the seats in first class are more posh, like living room armchairs. And now for the popular buffet car a great place to have a toasted tea cake or a bacon roll if you aren't about to have a luscious lunch in Broadway like I am. I stopped by the buffet counter and met the two friendly people staffing it. I learned about the bridges and viaduct that are part of the train route we are on. To bring the railway to Broadway, we had to repair seven bridges. Wow. See, so we had a, a share appeal for that. Mm -hmm. And now what we've got to raise over a million pounds just to repair the viaduct. Wow. Well, that's a worthy cause, because what a beautiful viaduct. It is. This is my view from inside the train, passing over the Stanway Viaduct. And here is some drone footage Ian filmed on another day of the train passing over the same viaduct. It is a beautiful viaduct, so if you are interested in contributing towards its restoration and preservation, please see the link in this video's description. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. This train trip offers some very pretty Cotswold vistas. I love train rides, and there's not much better for me than a train ride through the gorgeous Cotswolds. What is your favorite train journey that you have ever been on? Pulling into the Broadway station, I didn't know what to expect, 
because despite having visited the village countless times, this was my first time in the train station. It is very beautifully maintained and full of vintage details. We have the station master here, here in Broadway. And how long have you been station master? About seven years. All right, what's the best part about being station master here? Meeting the people. And you meet people from all over the world? We do. Even crazy Americans? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a lovely railway poster of Devon. I love Devon. Now, where do we think that this is a picture of in Devon? I don't know for sure. I do know that I loved going to Sidmouth. I used to say 20 years ago that I wanted to retire to Sidmouth. Okay, Ian, where do you think this is in, in Devon? I think that that's, um, um, ah, I'm on the spot. I think this is Clove Valley. All right. Vote in the comments. Tell us if you think this is Clove Valley or somewhere else. Of course, I love this vintage railway poster because it's for Weston Supermare and we have a son named Weston. We're gonna look inside this phone box because it's very well kept and look they got an old-timey phone in it. Oh you can even see in the top where you put in a shilling, a sixpence, or a penny. train going by the magenta flowers. That's my image of the day. We walk this way to get into Broadway Village. I think it's a little bit of a walk. This garden is beautiful. They have these lovely magenta flowers, which I keep forgetting the name of, but in front of them are the most brilliant poppies. There's lots for tourists to see in Broadway. And uh, for more information on Broadway, please see my Broadway video, which has highlights of the things we love about Broadway and some tips on when you go to visit. Ooh, that's a beauty. Lots of magenta roses, but that's the prettiest. As you walk into Broadway, you can tell when you're getting closer to the village center because the buildings get older and prettier. Now we are here on the Broadway High Street in the middle of the village, approaching a new shop we discovered this year and have taken several friends to see. It was a special family memory to take Ian's parents' photo in front of these phone boxes in Broadway, because I took our son Weston's photo in front of them about 12 years ago. Now it's time for lunch at our favorite place to eat in Broadway, the deli. I've eaten here several times, but I didn't know Broadway Deli had an upstairs, which is nice because it's a chilly day outside. The upstairs is pretty cool, with interesting shopping and eating areas. One reason to dine inside upstairs is because the loo is quite exceptional. You have a bathtub full of plants, lovely mirror above <laughs> same basin, but this thing is really something to write home about. Here's Ian's Plowman's with a soft cooked Scotch egg and some uh, Gumster or Godminster cheese, depending on who you ask. Honey baked ham, a nice salad, and then their lovely homemade granary bread. This is my coronation quiche, which, funnily enough, does not have coronation chicken. It has spinach and tarragon and cheese in it. It was nice to finally go inside the Broadway Museum, which I've walked by dozens of times when visiting the village with our family or friends. I was glad that the porter told us about the steam train exhibition here. The museum is full of fascinating information and details about the history of Broadway. It was historically an important travel route, long before the steam railway came along. I enjoyed seeing other parts of the museum, which featured vintage furniture, clothing, and curiosities. And this was a cool exhibit about Broadway Tower and the authors and artists associated with it. 
I also really loved the wool exhibit where they had samples of different fleece and gave info about the famously important Cotswold lion sheep. So cute, right? But we are here to see the train exhibit, so let's go! This special steam railway exhibit is only until November of 2023. Oh, this is definitely a museum exhibit that Boppy needs to visit. I first learned about the famous civil engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel when I visited the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol, but I didn't realize he was also a mechanical engineer and the mastermind behind the creation of the Great Western Railway. This steam railway exhibit is very well done. So if you have an interest in steam trains, I highly encourage you to visit Broadway Museum before the 12th of November. We have walked on the old abandoned Honeyburn line near where we live in Cheltenham. All the signaling equipment, the telegraph bell. This is a reminder of the line we just traveled this morning. Oh, Brunel, Gotherington. I saw one of the railroad employees carrying this this morning and I wondered what it was and here's the answer. It's a locomotive front lamp where they displayed a white light at the front and a red one to mark the rear of the train. Basically, the white light is a white headlight and the red one is a rear brake light. At the end of the steam train exhibit is the section where they explain the demise of the steam railway services in 1968. It's nice to have these heritage steam railway lines back in use today so that we can once again remember the steam locomotive rides of yesteryear. Speaking of which, it's time for us to stop horsing around and hoof it back to the Broadway station and make our journey back home. One of my favorite parts of this whole Heritage Railway experience is the vintage posters and adverts in the beautifully restored train stations. They are just delightful. On our ride back, we're gonna be cheeky and ride in the first class car because we want to be posh. For all you steam locomotive enthusiasts, let's have one more look at all the train bits that you can see on this day out on the GWSR on a purple timetable day. Here are the trains running today. And this is the one we rode, Denmore Manor. Here is the store of coal. Here's the water being loaded into the steam train. This woman was invited to come on in for a closer look at the steam engine, but I decided to just hang back and do some filming from the platform. We highly recommend this Gloucestershire Warwickshire steam railway experience to train enthusiasts of all ages. It's a fun family activity and a great day out for individuals or couples as well. Plenty to see and do along the way, both on the train and at the stops along the route. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on the steam railway today. We certainly enjoyed the experience. And I hope that you get to check out the steam railway here in Gloucestershire yourself. And I also hope you check out this video about Broadway and this other awesome video from the Cotswolds. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.